Hello everybody, this is Sarmon from Sarwona, coming at you with my endgame alchemist build. This build was designed to do massive damage, solo reaper 10 quests, as well as reaper raiding. There are many alchemist builds already on YouTube in the forums. I just figured I would share mine because I have recently finished all of past lives, as well as finished my gear layout. So there are a thousand ways to build this. This is just my build and what I've landed on. Firstly, my feats. I'm just going to leave them in the bio of the video to keep it simple. My enhancements, I have all, right, all past lives, so I have all the points. I have 23 points in Deep Gnome, gives me Dodge, MRR, and Int. Gives me Greater Color Spray, some Hardiness, Illusion DC, Max Dex Bonus, Spellcraft, and PK. 41 points in Bombardier, all this stuff is pretty standard. I'm Acid spec 25 points in Falconry gives you 30% Helpless Damage. 2 points of int. Vistani Knife Fighter gives you deflect arrows, uh, will saves, and defense. My epic destiny points, I have all the points available to spend. So, Draconic, I go tier 5 Draconic for Ruin Intensified, which is amazing. Epic Moment, and another set of wings. Shadow Dancer gives me energy cooldown, Illusion DC, as well as Meld, which is huge for survivability in Reaper 10. Exalted Angel, I need to spend points in a Divine Tree in order to get be able to use Sanctified Vial. So 12 points in Exalted Angel gives you no-fail will saves, as well as other set of wings. My gearing is as follows. 5-piece Ender set, which is 3 Cold Resist on my helm. 2 tiers of Critical Damage with Acid Spells, and then Death Block and Negative Energy Resist. My bracers are two con skills, one electric resist. My gloves are three unconscious range. My boots are three fire resist. My necklace is int, heal lamp, crit damage, sacred DCs. My trinket is five rings, quality int, spell sight, resistance, false life. Goggles are Madrite's set, as well as my cloak. My armor is the Hide of the Hunter. This gives me 100 MRR cap, as well as frees up a feat. My rings, I'm using Lightning Ring for 5 DCs, and Acid Ring because I'm Acid spec My main weapon is Spiral. My filigrees are 5 Dragon Soul, 4 Auto, 4 Eye, and then an extra plus 2 Int. I have 4 Dragon Soul. I have Cold Absorption, Intelligence Rare, electric absorption, as well as arcane spell failure. This is extremely necessary. You need this because if you're wearing light armor for the MRR cap raise, you need you need the arcane spell failure reduction, so that way you don't have an arcane spell failure at all. Um, my Eye of the Beholder out of my main hand is plus two int, intelligence rare, and spell power. My is MRR rare, will saves rare, and Intelligence Rare, and in my Minor Artifact I have Dragon Soul, Intelligence Rare, Autos, Intelligence Rare, plus two eye, eye Rare, and plus two Intelligence. This is the extra one I was talking about earlier. Spells are, level six spells are not great. Basically you pick up Gold Skin, Elemental Combination, and Heal. Level five spells are useful. You get Multi Vial, Frog, Flashbang, which is your long range CC with Cinder Smoke, Flush to Gold Mass, um, Greater Evolution, some debuffs out of level 4 spells, you get Sprint Boost, Sanctified Vial, which you should just take, and Cinder Smoke, as I mentioned before. Level 3 spells, you get Flash Freeze, which is you get some CC, Greater Restore, Melt Lock, Displacement, and Caustic Solvent. Level 2 spells, you get a debuff, Social Skills, Glue Bomb, which is an extremely effective long range CC. Remove Curse, which is very useful for Reaper Raids, and finally Augment Armor. My level 1 spells are all buffs, minus Fine Dust, which is useful for knocking over Golems and Sharn, which you can't CC with anything else. For well, my gearing, you know, I've looked at the Isle of Dread stuff, and I'm not willing to compromise with anything um, that's here, minus my necklace, which I upgraded from the Sharn Int necklace. So, firstly... Um, I'm not super defensive in Reaper 10, so the compromise is that I am quick with Sprint Boost, 
two sets of wings and you have max dodge in reaper you got a 48 dodge with meld activated so like i said i can only take like one to two hits max in reaper 10 without dying so you're constantly need to be winging and sprint boosting to, to stay alive so i landed on gnome for my final build uh this is because i pick up greater color spray this is primarily because deflect arrows is extremely useful and can't really get it any other way so i put the points in there um and then i just threw some extra points in here um but that's what landed me on gnome other than the intelligence and then the pk is just very nice to have is with five piece ender set you get minimal augment slots so i've had to really kind of crunch down what is necessary that constitution is necessary you know you get the festival intelligence for you know, an extra DC, greater conjuration, because all your spells are conjuration and transmutation, which is what landed me to be Acid. Acid Alchemist gives me plus four to conjuration and transmutation DCs, um, 20 PRR, and then all of the spell power and crit, crit damage is the same for all of the Scions now. Scion of the Earth is the only one that gives you conjuration and transmutation DCs. Something else is I used to be Fire Spect. This gives you 10 PRR, 10 MRR. I don't need it because I can cap out at 100 MRR without it. So an extra 10 PRR is you know, handy. I have Globe and Master's Gift slotted in my goggles. Cruel Cut is slotted in my Trinket, Armor, and Offhand. I have Defense and Transmutation slotted in my Cloak. I have Primera's Memento for the extra crit chance in my Armor and cool cut. I have greater heroism and greater illusion in my lightning ring. I have a plus two stats and deathic runestone in my acid ring. And I have meridian fragment and cruel cut slotted in my, my primary offhand. And I have dismagica and ruby of devotion in, in my main weapon. My swaps that I constantly do are as follows. The Bitter Edge, which is extremely useful. You're really only using this for Royalty's Frigid Response. This freezes everything and is extremely useful for things like Despair Reapers, which you can't hold on this build with anything, including your Greater Color Spray. So having this to freeze Despair Reapers is, is crucial. Um, you can get the same effect from the Dino Bone Crafted stuff right now. My second offhand is Affirmation for the extra thousand hit points and heal amp. My third offhand is Ash for the stacking MRR debuff. My fourth is Ooze. My fifth is Salt. So something I'd like to talk about real quick is some little tips that I've picked up. So primarily it's just winging in and out of fights and using greater color spray as your primary CC. Another weakness is because you're an alchemist, you can burn a lot of spell points very fast. It is crucial to carry, as, as well as any caster, it's it's crucial to carry the two rings of spell storing on you. Um, another weakness of my build is because I have a light armor on, I can't swap to the Reveler's Regalia and swap back as fast because you need to actually equip it and take all that time. It's very kind of inconvenient, but I just stick with this and keep it on. Something else about my build that is a little bit of a hindrance but also it's a double-edged sword is spell threat reduction currently i have minus 120 spell threat reduction this means that i'm never pulling anything from anyone from spell damage alone finally some trick that i actually really like to have is having this spell caustic solvent so this spell is really cool, and I have it everything turned off of it except for Quickened. This is because when I'm bouncing in and out of fights, I'm rotating my spell back to orange, so I'm boosting orange. You know, this goes on cooldown for six seconds. You know, there's another group of mobs up ahead, and I have three seconds left on my um, boost. I can, you know, swap in and out of it and use this as an extra red spell. There's plenty of blue and yellow spells that I take that you don't need to worry about rotating those, but... The red spell is the big one because a lot of your red spells are big spell point cost and they're your big damage dealer so you're going to want those spells for the next fight that you go into so having this spell which has a you know cooldown reduction is extremely useful um, because it's red 
and it can move you in and out of reactions quickly. So typically, you know, when I'm when I go into an orange reaction, my typical damage dump is elemental combination, my two multivials, ruin, greater ruin, as well as my dragon breath. I can get all this in, and real quick, I'm just going to show you what my final builds are. Keep in mind, I'm acid spec, so 836 spell power, 51 crit chance, and 123 multiplier, standing on public. On Wellspring, that's um, pretty decent. It's not the greatest, highest stats you'll see in the game, but it is certainly does very well on Reaper 10. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content, if you want to see Alchemist content, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comments.